Alright guys, Zachman eight <clears throat> sorry about that. Zachman eighteen here. We'll go back to TZM TV channel eighteen. It is time for another episode of Learning with Zachman eighteen. I'm Zachman eighteen. Today is Friday, March second, the sixty second day of two thousand twelve. Three hundred and four days left in the year. As you guys uh, haven't noticed yet, you guys can see me better now since there's not that much sun outside. So uh um <clears throat> Let's go, let's go to today's highlight. In 1962, Wilt Chamberlain scored 100 points for the Philadelphia Warriors in a game against the New York Knicks, an NBA record that still stands, and Philadelphia won 169-147. to 147. Jeez, it's insane. <clears throat> on the, also on the state in history, in 1793, the first president of the Republic of Texas, Sam Houston, was born near Lexi Lexington, Virginia. In 1836, the Republic of Texas formally declared its independence from Mexico. In 1861, the state of Texas, having seceded from the Union, was admitted to the Confederacy. In 1877, Republican Rutherford B. Hayes was declared the winner of the 1876 presidential election over Democrat Samuel J. Tilden, even though Tilden had won the popular vote. In 1917, Puerto Ricans were granted U.S. citizenship as President Woodrow Wilson signed the jones shafroth Act. In 1932, the 20th Amendment to the Constitution, which moved the date of the presidential inauguration from March 4th to January 20th, um, it was passed by Congress and sent to the states for ratification. In 1939, Roman Catholic Cardinal Eugenio Pacelli was elected Pope on his 63rd birthday. He took the name Pius XII. In 1943, the World War II Battle of the Bismarck Sea began. U.S. and Australian warplanes were able to inflict heavy damage on a Japanese convoy. In 1951, the East beat the West 111-94 in the first NBA All-Star game, which took place at Boston Garden. In 1989, representatives from the 12 European Community Nations agreed, agreed to ban all production of CFCs, which is known, which is known as uh, chlorofluorocarbons. Pretty sure chlorocarbons, I think I pronounce that right. And it was by the end of the 20th century. That's going to do it for today's episode of Learning with Zachman18. I'm Zachman18. Stay tuned for the 50th weekend celebration extravaganza coming up next.